All right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa, away from the crack in the APC. We'll be focusing on some issues here in Lagos. What with the release of the white paper of the Antas and panel, and um, uh, Lagos State government dismissing that just one person died as against the nine that um, you know was actually you know reported. Uh, joining us uh, this time around to look at all of the issues uh, is uh, a barrister uh, Daily Farutimi, and uh, incidentally, he is one of the people that the Lagos State governor has actually issued. Uh, uh, an invitation to join in the peace work and the healing of the land. Many thanks for joining us uh, on the breakfast, uh, Barrister Farutimi. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Uh, very quickly, let's just talk about the white paper. I know, you know, I'm sure it has been generating so many reactions. And indeed, you were actually, you know, fingered or mentioned yesterday by the governor asking you to join, you know, in the healing of the land. But first off, uh, how did you really react when you saw the release of the white paper? Well, um, apparently, I knew that by my get miles, and all the commanders they have new constitution in their own because the man is obviously a commander. Now, I find it a little weird that the governor will uh, elect to, first of all, talk about the peace to war. Then release a white paper that tries to trace everything that we all know. I'm still busy trying to digest exactly what the game plan is because there should be some method to match it. But this one does not appear to have neither with it. We don't have any reason for it. We don't go to the same. We spent over a year doing with over 200 young men and women have been kept in prison in Kiriti because they were arrested during the center process. And they are still there. And the only advice that has come out of neighbor state is one saying that the people have been charged for anything more than a fraction of the costume room, which would have asked them to spend the most in prison if they were ever convicted. They spent over a year, since October last year, and then did it for who is talking about the peace war. And then the same government set up a panel. And then it's changed the case. So, um, in my younger days, I do reaction. But I'm an old man now, I'm becoming temperate. Even the picture of when you have on your screen for the same season when you could rightly point at me and say that I am mad. All right, uh, we'll uh, try and reconnect uh, with some um, barrister Dele Faro to me. Indeed, we were having some um, distortion with um, the audio. We could barely hear most of the things that um, um, he um, said. You know, Mercy, you know, indeed he was uh, saying and um, what um, he felt and that he was like uh, as a legal practitioner that what you mentioned about approbating and reprobating, you know, being a judge and jury in your own case is something that actually is in... Uh, the way to go about it. But I'm sure over time, you know, just in the next couple of hours, and of course in the next couple of days, reactions will keep on trailing that particular development because this is one incident that has actually come so close to home that um, indeed every Nigerian is affected one way or the other because we know where it pinches. We, you know, see the policemen every day. We know how they brutalize our loved ones. And indeed, we just need to put a foot down and ensure that uh, we take a stand uh, to make sure these things don't happen again. Well, um, how do you even achieve all of that mm. if uh, the mechanism that's been put in place mm. uh, cannot work? Like we rightly mentioned, you already would 
can tell what would be the outcome mm. when you already have a person of interest, mm. uh, you know, being a judge in his own case. It's unfortunate and very, very sad. Very sad that we have um, Barrister Abdele Rotimi, of Far Rotimi back um, online. Can you continue with your postulation? So we lost you there at some point. You were talking about um, how sad um, the development has been with Lagos State approbating and also reprobating at the same time. I hope you can hear me now. We can hear you. Yeah, go ahead. Good. The point is this. From the beginning, the complicity of Jesus Wolu as the governor of Lagos State was already established. We knew that he was complicit in the crimes that took place at that time. The complicity of the LCC, the operators of the franchise, was also clear to everybody who cared to look from day one. That uh, the Labour State government would set its lawyers in motion to seek to discredit the report that was leaked was not a surprise. But when you begin to read the rather funny, long-winding address of the governor yesterday, you, I initially had hope as I was reading towards the end, where he now began to dissemble and start dancing around, covering himself in fig leaves and talking about higher ideals to which himself and all of the people do not subscribe. And then he sought the memories of all those who died. He wants to walk. Walk to where? And then it is Akim Otumosu, the one with the Black Maria at the toll gate. I'm supposed to be walking with the one they call it, it is a black, black a white lion or, or black boot. That one too, I'm supposed to be working with him. The people I work with, the students who are not will not dare to walk on the street if they march on the streets of Lagos. He should call the MC Olu amongst of this world. Let him call all those people that work with them. Adagosha, Tiosha. Those are the people he should call to come and walk. The people I work with, some of them are in Kirikiri. He lost them there. And then you are talking about the peace work. Look. This is rubble sought into injury. The insensitivity of the Nigerian ruling class and the Nigerian state is unbelievable. You have children in your own home that you monitor to, and there are people's children in Kirikiri. I know of a boy who has been before two judges of the Lagos State Bench. And they could not even pay. And at the end of the day, all that came out of the DPT was that they could be charged with a breach of the court, a breach of the um, court order. That was all they could be charged with. And they are still in prison. And this man is talking about a peace walk. Hmm. All right, um, Mr. Dele Faro to me. Uh, for the want of time, uh, I'm sure that we'll definitely continue this conversation. But I'd like to ask you, is there hope for justice uh, with uh, the fact that, you know, the state government has rejected the report saying uh, no one died and all that's on, it, going on right now? Do you think that there's hope for justice? Let me explain something to you, my sister. You know, the truth has a very nasty habit of refusing to die. And life has a very notorious habit of dying quickly. So when you tell lies, you are obliged to manufacture more and more. Because they die that they are because if you listen to the stories that Jesus and Olue alone has told regarding Lekki, then you will know that. He typifies what you call an infectionate liar. He's almost worse than Lai Mohammed. He has told different versions. So, when someone like Tawolu, and he's just a type, because each and every one of the beneficiaries of this evil system are sought to lie about what they did on the night of the 20th of October. 
I assure you, justice will be done. Because the truth will not die. I will die. Students on Wolu will die. Each and every one of us who are alive today, we go the way of the flesh, or the truth will not die. Each and every one of the lies that they are telling, they are already almost, in fact, as they are telling it, they are dead. So they are just lying to themselves. And I will say something, and I say this, not just to the ruling class, but to each and every one of us. Every time anyone embraces the lies that they are telling in Lekki, the person becomes stupid. Think about it. Each and every person who has had occasion to come out and speak against the truth of what happened in Lekki, the more intelligent they used to be, the more stupid they became. All right, um, thank you so much, um, Barrister Dele Farotimi, for your thoughts uh, concerning um, the work of um, Hope and, of course, uh, the white paper that was just released by the state government. Indeed, uh, justice will be served um, over time. A very big thank you to you, that Dele Farotimi is a legal practitioner and a human rights activist. That's as much as we can take, you know, on this discuss uh, this morning. Many thanks for being part of the conversation and uh, we look forward to having this tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed every part of uh, the show. And if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's all right to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're at Plus TV Africa and on YouTube as a Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Abopo, compliment of the season. And I am Justin Akadene. Stand by for the news brief momentarily.